Illinois. Good evening. I'm Karen Morrison from St. Charles in Decatur, Illinois, the soybean capital of the world. Here are the Miss USA delegates in our Niagara Falls swimsuit extravaganza. First, the girls from the central and midwestern states. Miss Illinois, Karen Morrison. Now, number two among the semifinalists, Miss Illinois. Now, we've met our 12 semi-finalists, and I'm going to chat with each one of them, beginning with Miss Illinois. Miss Illinois, would you step right down here to me? She's Karen Jean Morrison. She lives in St. Charles. And Karen Jean? Yes? You were the second girl called. Was it a relief to get it over with and get down here? Sure was. <laughs> now, you're one of the two tallest girls in the pageant, aren't you? Right, I'm 5'11". And how tall do you like to have your men? About that high? <laughs> no, around 6'1 to 6'3". I'll send on my tippy toe. All right, here that? we go. <laughs> now, most of the girls here have uh, participated in two or three pageants to become a part of the Miss USA pageant. Right. But you, Karen, I believe had a great deal of trouble just getting to Niagara Falls, uh, right. just ignoring got, pageants. Well, what happened is I got, I was supposed to come into the Buffalo Airport, and my ticket said New York. So I ended up in New York for three-hour layover. So it was all right, though. Everything went fine. What did you do during the three hours? I called a lot of people that I knew in New York. Yes, the bills are just beginning to come in, as a matter of fact. Yeah, but <laughs> that's the way it goes. If you become Miss USA, of course, that will be deducted from your winnings, you okay, understand? Okay, fine, fine. Now, I believe your ambition is to be one of the top ten models. Why the top ten? Because it's better than being the top eleventh. <laughs> well, I find that the top ten to be a lot better. <laughs> yes, and it's nice to be one right, of the top thank twelve, you. isn't it? Right, thank, thank you, Miss Illinois. All right, Miss California. Miss California here is Gail Gorell. She lives in Temple. Miss Illinois. Statuesque. Karen Morrison, five feet ten and a half inches tall and 140 pounds. She's, she's only 19. She has blonde hair and blue eyes. Miss Nevada. Miss Illinois. Miss Illinois, Karen Morrison. She's a Leo. Leos are born leaders with style, with a flair for the dramatic, and you'll usually find them as the center of attention in a room full of admiring males. Miss Nevada, Linda Dryden. That, ladies and gentlemen, was a look of utter joy you just saw. Finalist number two is Miss Illinois. We have our first two finalists. Now, Miss Illinois. Miss Illinois, right up to this microphone. The judges are here. Direct your answer to this question to them. Of all the famous people of the past, who would you like to talk to and why? I'd most like to talk to Golda Meir. I feel everything she's done in the past is simply fantastic. I had the opportunity of talking to someone in Tampa one time, and they filled me in on all her background. I think she's a beautiful person, and the things she's done in the past are simply fantastic. She had a quote one time, and it said something to the effect that if it's not what the people are, it's not the people that are brought into her country that are causing war that hurts her. It's exactly what, what's felt inside of all the people in her country and their reaction that hurts her. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Illinois. And now, judges, 
You've heard our five finalists. The pageant is now entirely in your hands, and we are all anxious to learn who is Miss USA of 1974. Now, girls, one of you will become Miss USA of 1974, and the other will become our first runner-up. Now, this position of first runner-up is very important because if for any reason Miss USA could not fulfill her obligation throughout the entire year, then the first runner-up would become Miss USA. The first runner-up is Miss New York, Miss Illinois, is Miss USA of 1974. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sarah. Put the crown on her there. There you are. You have it on. Now, Miss Hospitality, will you snap her banner for her here? There you are. Thank you. And her scepter, Amanda. There's your scepter. And now we have found the most beautiful girl in the USA. It is Karen Morrison here of Illinois, who will represent our country in the Miss Universe beauty pageant in Manila in the Philippines on CBS on Saturday night, July 20th, when our show will be done live by satellite. Now, Amanda, will you please read the Miss USA Creed? And Miss USA of 74, would you go out and greet your subjects? We, the young women of the United States, believe people everywhere are seeking peace, tolerance, and mutual understanding. We pledge to spread this message in every way we can, wherever we go. Thank you. And I know that there are young ladies and probably ladies and gentlemen all over our nation who would like to know something about this week and some of the things that led up to you becoming Miss USA. Just describe some of the things that have happened after you arrived here in Niagara Falls. Well, when I finally arrived... You remember she told us a story about being in New York City. Go ahead. Well, then everything went really smooth. I met a lot of wonderful girls and there was a lot behind there that a lot of people don't know of affection and I'm just I'd like to can I thank somebody you may thank okay. anybody you wish I'd like to thank the people of Decatur Illinois for making this all possible with the Miss Illinois pageant I'd also like to thank my directors Joni and Tony Joni and Tony Joanne and Tony Salerno thank you yes <laughs> now when you start making these thanks, uh, there are some ladies and gentlemen. Yes, there's some nice I ladies and gentlemen so. right down here perhaps you'd like to thank. Thank you very much. Now, who will be the first person you call when you uh, get backstage? The first person I'll call? I think my roommate in Dallas, Texas. You're going to call her? Right. And then who? No, that's not fair. <laughs> is there a young man who might be very interested in the fact that you've become Miss USA? Yes. Is it? Where does well, he live? He lives in St. Charles. His name's Tom Lewis. Uh huh. And uh, do you have any plans of becoming Mrs. Tom Lewis, or is this just sort of developing right now? I'm only 19. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? Here she is, just, just 19, and I'm rushing her into marriage. Well, you have just done so splendidly here, and all of the things that we have uh, had during the past. How did you do at the bowling? 
Oh, I got a trophy. Well, tell us about that. I was so that. happy. I bowled terrible. I really did. Well, how did you get a trophy? Well, it, Mr. Rump was my, he was the one that sponsored me in the bowling. And he bowled fantastic, like 190, I think. And I bowled 93. <laughs> what can I say? When you look like you do, you don't have to bowl well. Did you enjoy the parade? Oh, that was fun. All these, all the little kids were so sweet. They all rush up and want to shake your hands, and I really, I really appreciate that. That was nice. Did you go to the mu? This is the question that I must oh, ask. No. Did you go to no. the museum with Miss Nevada? Yes. Yes, you did. Would you tell no. all America what museum in Niagara Falls you visited? Oh, <laughs> it's something like the car Carburetum. Car Miss USA, you may have a seat in your throne right back here. You gave it the good try. There you are, the most beautiful girl in our country. Bob Barker saying good night, everyone. Illinois, Karen Morrison, May 18th, 1974, will always be a date that changed her life. Right before our eyes, she's become an instant national celebrity. And before her year-long reign is over, she'll be one of the country's most photographed, most interviewed, and most quoted personalities. She'll sign thousands of autograph books, travel extensively and constantly, and make countless new friends wherever she goes. It will be a very educational and stimulating experience, and she seems like the kind of a girl who will make the most of it and enjoy every moment. For the other 50 contestants, it's been a week of dazzling excitement, and each of them will return home knowing she has made her family, her friends, and her state very proud of her. Remember that our new Miss, S Miss USA will compete for the Miss Universe crown on Saturday, July 20th, and a special two-hour CBS telecast that will originate in the Philippines and be sent around the world by satellite. I hope you plan to be with us on that night when beautiful girls from 70 nations will take part in the Miss Universe pageant. And it's been a night of fun and surprises right here in Niagara Falls, and I'm delighted that you were here to share it with us. For Miss USA of 1974, from all of the beauty delegates to this year's pageant, and from Bob Barker and myself, thank you for joining us. We'll all look forward to being with you again on Saturday night, July the 20th. Good night. The Miss USA beauty pageant was presented live by Crest the Cavity Fighter. And all temperature cheer for the way you watch now and by Dry Formula Secret, made especially for women. Join us on Saturday, July 20th for the Miss Universe Beauty Pageant live via satellite from the capital of the Philippines, Manila. And now this is Chuck Singh saying goodnight. The musical portions were recorded. This is CBS.